Drag Race fans, it's day number four of Drag Week. We are in the uh, beautiful hills of East Tennessee at Bristol Dragway. What, what we'd like to do next is let's go out in the pits and talk to some of these racers. Hey, Maggie, what's going on? Hi. How's Drag Week been? It's been, it's been fun. It's been challenging, but fun. Uh, looks like you're running in uh, M class, so small block power at it. Uh, how fast are you going? We, well, it's, we kind of have to hit an, an index of uh, 850, so uh, today we run at 852. It's really tight. It's by like the hundredths of a, of a second, so we're we're trying to make it work. We won the class last year, so this year we're just here to have some fun. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here with Brian Goldstone out of Elk, Elkhart, Indiana, and he just put down a six-second pass despite some challenges. Brian, why don't you tell us about, uh, about your pass? Uh, well, fighting it all week. We lost the converter the first day and put in a borrowed converter. Parts went through the transmission. We're down to the first converter. I guess the one thing about Greg is it was one of your uh, chief competitors that gave you a talk converter, wasn't it? Right, yeah, Tom Bailey is uh, leading everybody here. He loaned it to me, but the story about that converter is, is four years ago when I built this car, I heard the engine, he heard his transmission and converter, I let him borrow this converter and this transmission. He didn't have a transmission for me to borrow, but I got my old converter back in the car. Well, what goes around comes around. Hey, Alex, looks like you're doing some wrenching. Hey, yep, getting some plugs ready for, uh, can I make another pass? Make another, what kind of times you running? Um, hopefully about an 850 today. And, uh, what kind of top speed you doing? About 167, that's my top. Tell, tell the folks out in the audience, what's it feel like to be going that fast? It feels like an adrenaline rush. So, when I launch, it's actually like, you know, it, it's fairly soft. It's a turbo car, so it doesn't pull on the bottom end. Uh, but then about eight miles, the car just starts pulling and it's like a, you know, like a jet. It just pulls you, you get back in the street and it's a lot of fun. It's the best I can describe it. <laughs> Outstanding. I don't know what you think, but it seems to me that the women in drag racing do really well against the guys uh, because of lightweight and good reaction times. What do you think? I think the weight definitely has an advantage. Uh, reaction time, I, I haven't done much. You know, racing where reaction time is the biggest deal just because drag week is all about times, but women do definitely have a better reaction time than guys. So, um, <laughs> Outstanding. Okay, well, thank you, and I'll let you get back to your wrench. Thank you. Hey, Emily. How's Hi. your drag week going? It's good. This is my first one. Well, tell us where you're from. So, I'm originally from Yorkville, Illinois, out of Chicagoland area. I moved to Burbank. And how long have you been drag racing? This will be my third year. Wow. What, uh, let's let this one go past. What kind of time are you running? So, right now, unfortunately, we can't get out of the but at home it was 10, 20, 10, 10. My boyfriend actually built me this LS motor over the winter. He cracked off a 980 with the first pass, so... Without the window net and everything, we had to go 10 0 so we put a smaller pulley on there just to make it go a little slower, so... About 980, what was the top uh, speed on that? About 133, 134. And uh, tell the, particularly the ladies in the audience, what's it like uh, busting the you know, 10, 11 second pass down at that speed? The adrenaline rush is crazy. <laughs> yeah. By the time you think about it, it's already over. <laughs> Perfect. Well, you have a great drag week and hopefully see you in Atlanta. Yeah, thanks. We will be there. Okay. We caught your last pass. Tell us uh, what's going on. It's just slowing up. We put a smaller pulley on there to hopefully make the boat charger make a little more power, but it's just not there. So now we got to see if it's a tuning issue or mechanical. Right.
right, yeah. Well, I guess uh, it's tough uh, getting these things sorted out on oh, track yeah. day. Yeah. But uh, yeah, well, hopefully uh, you'll get it sorted out and be ready to rock and roll in Atlanta. Yeah, we're gonna maybe try and make another pass here real quick. I don't really want to settle with an 11:34. Okay. Well, we better get out of your way then. Thanks, Emily. Thank you.